Good morning, everybody. It's 10 minutes past 8 o'clock right now. Time to dive into the Iowa arts. Absolutely. There's a wonderful performance coming up with only a couple opportunities to see a musical known as Little Women. You may have heard of the book. Yep. You may have heard of the classic movies, but have you heard of the musical? Well, Drake University is putting on that very special performance, and we're very excited to have the director, uh, Aaron Horst, who is joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the leading ladies, or one of the sisters, I should say, that's Haley Wilson, who's playing Joe, a uh, classic character. Thank Thank you both mm -hmm. for joining us this morning. Yes, thank you. Yes. Okay, so why is it important to tell this story and right now, with uh, courtesy of Drake University? Well, Little Women is, it was really ahead of its time as far as sort of female power, you know, de defeating social norms for women. Um, its its themes are really um, family and love. Um, it's about four sisters who um, are living during Civil War times. Okay. And the second oldest sister, Jo, is a writer. That's Haley is playing Joe, um, and uh, she just she she really wants to. Everybody wants her to get married and have babies, you know. But she wants to write stories and to have adventures, and um, so it's really about overcoming those societal norms and. Yeah, it's a beautiful of, story. Kind of create her own path in yeah. life as opposed to what everybody else is saying. Exactly. And I think what people might not realize, uh, unless you're a big musical theater uh, guru out there, is that there's a musical. Yes. Like you probably heard of the story and maybe you've read it when you were growing up, but yep. it's a musical. It's beautiful. It is beautiful music. It's just like the book, you know, it's based on Louisa May Alcott's life. Okay. Um, and it's the music is just, it's, it's quite touching. How long has the musical been, been around? Oh gosh, early to 2004. Okay. Five, 2005. <laughs> okay. so, so it's, it's, this is the music director off on the okay. side of the okay. stage yes, there. Yes. Thank you. Thank um, you, Adam. Yes, uh, the, the famous Sutton Foster played Joe, um, and it's the music is just, it's beautiful. Okay, okay, you say that, and you said that a couple of times. Why mm -hmm. is it so beautiful? Why putting music to this story is it creates such a I mean, beautiful picture? It just livens it. You know, it adds mm -hmm. magic to it. Um, I promise you will cry if you have a heart. You will cry. Um, <laughs> let's she have said that and looked over my no direction. Yes. Okay. Okay, good yeah. to know. Um, but you'll also laugh. It's it's just very heartwarming, you know. And it's it ultimately about family and a sister bond. And um, it it's very important to me. It it's it's um, touches my heart. I have yeah. lots of sisters, so so um, it's relatable. Yes, it's relatable, yeah. definitely for me. Um, so I I wanted to choose it for us because we have so many strong women at Drake. It, uh, we have an abundance of strong, beautiful women at Drake, and mm -hmm. I thought this is a perfect way to showcase them. So absolutely, mm -hmm. okay. And Haley, you are taking uh, one of the leads as the sisters as Joe. Yes. Why was it important to uh, be a part of this performance? Well, I think especially now with um, the women's march that happened like three days ago. Right. Um, Joe is a, a early feminist. Like she doesn't need a man to um, be who she is, and I think that's super important for me as like as a person, but also to showcase um, for other young women as well. Like my sister is coming to see the show, and I want to kind of portray that and and show her that you know there is that also. Absolutely. Now, are any of Joe's traits uh, any of your traits? Um, very much so, I think. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, I, she's definitely a little bit different than me. She's a, she's an amazing writer. Um, I'm not so much, but, <laughs> um, um, I am very headstrong and, um, I don't need, like, I'm very much like, I don't need a man. I am fine, you know, as I am, um. And if it comes, it comes. And that's kind of how Joe is also. Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We want everybody to know that this is the January term musical, which mm -hmm. means they have completely produced and put this together in three weeks. Wow. Uh, <laughs> including everything else that no you're time. doing as a, yes. a student of theater and at Drake University. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of great work and effort has been put into this for just a couple of performances. Yes, mm -hmm. three. So Three open, yes, performances. Open, open on Thursday, yeah. And so uh, the other aspect that we want people to know, because there's a lot of great theater that happens in their community, and maybe you don't always realize where it's happening. Uh, so Drake University, but it's free. It's free. To attend. So it talk is. about that a little bit and how we can get tickets. Yes, it's free, um, but you do need to reserve tickets at the box office because it's such a, it's limited seating. It's in our studio theater. Um, and so it's a small, we're doing it in kind of a um, thrust-like setting. Um, and so we have audience on two sides. So you just have to go to the box office um, or just go to um, www.drake.edu theater and you can reserve tickets on 
the Fine Arts box office website. Okay. Um, but yes, totally free. We're just supporting our students, and they've worked so hard. <laughs> you know, they've worked so hard, and it's really just been two weeks um, because we we open on Thursday, yeah. we, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at so 7:30. So it's showtime, isn't it? It is it showtime. Is show time. We are in crunch yeah. time. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And we, these are our up and coming superstars. So we are so excited to feature them this morning as we head over to our studio space. So of course, you see Haley there as we were talking a moment ago, but we have uh, some sisters that are going to be joining her as well. So we also want to say good morning to the other lovely ladies. Erin, who else do we have with us this morning? Oh, we have Abby Huskisson playing Meg. We have Emily Minch playing Beth, and we have um, Grace Sopko <laughs> playing Amy. I almost said Amy. <laughs> <laughs> After a while, you're trying to the become your character. The character has really become them, <laughs> exactly. hasn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And what will they be singing today? <laughs> they are singing Our Finest Dreams. It's at the beginning of the show. They are acting out one of Joe's stories. Oh, All right. wonderful. Yes. All right, ladies, take it away. One Christmas Eve. Four penniless and ragged sisters put on an operatic tragedy for all of Concord. Oh, Joe, no. Filled with blood and guts. Two massacres, a masked ball, and several heart-wrenching scenes. The crowd will hush. We'll start the overture and back will surely blush. For when Clarissa starts to plead, Christmas will exceed our finest dreams. Joe, do I die again in this one? Yes, <laughs> Meg, you will die like none before. The world will shudder when your body hits the floor. For when Rodrigo makes you bleed, Christmas will exceed our finest dreams. Now Amy, as Clarissa, only passion is permissible. This tragedy depends upon the fire in your eyes. And Beth, when you're the mother, you'll be noble, you'll be pure. All hearts will melt the moment Mother cries. Let us begin. Aha! Uh -huh. oh. Mother, dear mother, do not cry. No, 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 no. Amy, expression from the heart. Mother, oh no, dear mother, do not cry. Mother, oh no, dear. Joe, I am teased and ridiculed at school, and all that concerns you is your silly little tragedy. I know you're tired, I know it's hard, but we will triumph when Rodrigo yells, On guard! Our success is guaranteed! Christmas will be thrilling, Christmas will be gory, Christmas will exceed our finest dreams. I made an important decision today. As you all know, I've been writing stories forever, with much satisfaction, and people seem to like what I write. We love it, Joe. Absolutely. So, I've decided I'm going to become a world-renowned writer. I shall write great books, and I will earn barrels of money, and I will give you all everything you have ever dreamed. Oh, Joe! Joe we must anything. promise to remain just as we are. Solid. Like a fortress. No matter whatever happens, we must promise that it'll always be the Four March Sisters. Forever. Forever! Forever. Come, let's rehearse. Not my you job. have you me rest. or no one. No one. I've got my boots and hat. My mustache is curled. Amy, your little way.
Coleman from Drake University. Erin, the details one more time. The details. It's in our studio, our Coleman Studio Theater, which is on 25th and Carpenter. Um, it opens on Thursday, runs wow. Friday and Saturday at 7.30. You can get tickets at the box office online at our drake.edu website slash theater. And you can also give them a call, 515-271-3841. They're open noon to 6. Get your tickets. They're free, and it's a great show. Yes, please do come. It's lovely. I can't believe you started rehearsing on January 7th, and 17 days later, it's game on. I it's know, magic. <laughs> and it's going to be amazing. There you go. It's yes. Iowa Theater, and we're so happy to share that with you this morning. Thank you, ladies, very much. You're watching Iowa.